Holy crap, guys. Take three. 2019, this is Rocky. Hope you had a good 18. Uh, hope your Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's was outstanding. I want to shout out to all of my four subscribers. Uh, but to the people that view my, my, uh, my videos, thanks a lot, man. Hey, I had a question from a guy. Uh, and I want to thank you, Jay, for uh, the question. His username is J capital J and then SAV I'm assuming that's his last name so I'm just going to call you J um, the question was uh, have I used uh, XS big dot sites on my guns and I actually have a pretty good trading history with XS big dots so here's my opinion on XS big dots I think they're great sites I think they're really really good sites if you're brand new and you're just learning and practicing and start starting to train. Um, my experience with them is this. I don't like the V notch on the back and I don't like when you get out to say 15, 20 yards, how the big golf ball covers up the entire target. Say you're shooting a say three or five inch circle or say an index card uh, your front that dot will cover up the entire uh, target and I don't like that with the hackathons uh, Ameriglows hackathons tea caps uh, things like that when you get out that far and you put your front sight on there you can see target around the site which gives you a uh, better act Act more accurate sight. The reason I don't uh, carry excess big dots anymore is because from say zero to seven nine yards, uh, you can point shoot and be accurate enough. Okay. Um, in a stressful situation, you may not see your sights anyway especially at a target or a bad guy that close so you have to learn how to train with a point shoot mentality okay i don't know if any of you have point done point shooting before but uh, i train have trained a little bit with the police force around here and they uh, have taught me stressful situation practice which is point shooting at, at close ranges and it's uh, it's very uh, you know it's a very good system it's a very uh, accurate uh, and, and good way to practice and I think I'm gonna do a video on that in a couple of weeks I'll I'll maybe run 50 50 rounds or 100 rounds on some point shoot targets from zero to ten, and then uh, and then I'll do some some shooting out a little bit further. Uh, but I I believe excesses are built for a tactical situation. So like, as soon as you draw your gun, you pull that front dot out, boom, you're on target. Um, and that's an excellent system, and it works great. You know, if you're uh, if you're new to training and you haven't been training a lot, and and uh, and you you know you're you're learning that that's that's a great system. But any site will do that. You can learn to acqu acquisition any front site. Uh, uh, you know, through training, it's out past that that uh, I think other sites beat excesses in more accuracy. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, and yes, I've seen the videos of James Jaeger popping off, you know, targets at 100 yards with the excess big dots. I've seen them. I understand that he can do that, and I understand 
that anyone can do that if they train with those sites enough you know and and that's fine I I don't I think Ameriglo's got got them beat out past the nine yard setup where it's really going to count where you're looking down your your slide you know and uh, I think Trigicon HD's got them beat out there or whatever you got with a with a you know a post and a you know the U shape I think you've got I think you've got the excess excesses beat I understand excess has a standard dot I've used those too. Uh, I just don't like it. I just, I just like, I like leveling the post across the top and being there. You know, I like to be able to see a little bit of target on each side of my front post, and just have to be level across the top, and I can see my target on both sides and smack there it is. You know, um, that's my opinion on excesses. You know, I think they're. Like I said, I, I, I got no complaints, and if you like them, and you use them, and you train with them, great. But that's my opinion, Jay, and that's just where we're at, man. I appreciate your question. Uh, I would love for you to comment, or ask more questions, or just, just converse with me. I really, really love the interaction. I don't know if all of you guys know what excess big dots are, so let me show you a little drawing. Uh, for those of you that might not know, excesses are like this. They got a V knot, a little post here, and then the big round dot. So the idea is if you got that dot set anywhere on this post, if it's over here or over here or in the middle or whatever, you're on target. Further out you get, 20 yards or so, you set this dot on the post and then you know you're on target which you know that's cool um, this is the kind I like I like all blacked out rear sight and the Trigicon or the uh, very br bright uh, front sight level the back and see target on both sides um, I like this system because uh, without when I'm setting this dot on here this may cover my target and I don't like being that you know I don't I don't like that that much with this I set this on the target I can still see the target here so that's my preference uh, that's what I train with and uh, I just love it I just love it so thanks for watching and keep watching i'll come up with that video that point shooting video here in the next couple of weeks and uh man i just appreciate all you guys i'm i'm truly blessed so thank you and have a great day